Greetings all from Hermit's Rest Hermitage. I mentioned uh, in a couple of videos back that I would talk about kind of the the, the real cost uh, of solar. People think, oh gosh, I'm gonna go on solar and I'm not gonna have to pay another electric bill. Uh, not necessarily. Okay, let 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 me go. <laughs> let me go over a few figures that I just kind of quickly put together. Uh, my reference source is uh, the good folks up in Idaho, in uh, Backwood Solar, and um, they're not sponsoring anything, nor would I ever ask them to. But these guys have been living off grid and running their business for um, oh hell thirty years. Uh, I I've been dealing with them for the last twenty seven years. Um, so they know their stuff, and they're very helpful. They're wonderful, wonderful people, but they live off-grid, period, and have for a long, long time. So according to those guys, okay, if you wanted a top and a high-end solar system that would be somewhat comparable like they have, say, for running a business or doing something um, like a normal a normal uh, household on grid to some degree would that that would cost you let's say I've got it written down here that would cost that's a that would cost you sixty four thousand dollars that solar system now and it would give you thirty seven thousand uh, watts thirty seven thousand watt hours available to you when the sun was shining and you were getting full sun. Now, I'm in an area, we're in an area in Arizona where we get a 100% sun, there's no fudge factor. It's a blessing. We have seven hours, pretty much of sun, a considerable uh, amount of time during the year. Now, say you're on the grid. <clears throat> uh, the average house, at least when I was building houses 100, you know, 100 years ago, the average house, hooked up to the grid has 200 has a 200 amp service is what they call it and um so 200 amps okay is five thousand seven five hundred and seventy six thousand watts of available power now compare that to your sixty four thousand dollar solar system that has thirty seven thousand watts of power available compared to the grid at 576,000 watts available. Whether the sun's shining or not, and 24 hours a day, 365 days a week, except of course with power outages, which is becoming you know, more commonplace. But at any rate, if you um, have a, uh, the average electric bill of say $200 a month, um, you're spending uh, $2,400 a year in electricity. Now that solar system is actually, let's see if I, if I can keep track of all my squir squirrely notes or whatever. Um, yeah, that solar system is actually costing you $266 a month. If you divide the cost of 64,000 by the average life expectancy of 20 years, That'd be okay for possibly your solar panels, but your charge regulator and definitely your batteries, you know, you're looking at maybe um, lasting 20 years, but your batteries, you know, for that kind of a system are going to last about seven years. Now, what do batteries cost? This is going to shock you. This is where it's gotten really kind of bad. Um, you can spend 30 grand in batteries for that system. And if they last you eight years, that's $3,750 a year or $312.50 a month. So, okay, so how many people, if you've got, an, uh, you know, if you're on grid and you've got an electric bill of $300 a month, you're ahead of the game. Now, if you do it the way Lori and I have done it, okay, we have a solar system um, generates about 942 watts a day. That's if the sun is shining. And our batteries cost $600. We've got two, and they cost $300 a piece. So that's $85 a year in batteries, which is $7.14 a month. Now, that system would run you about $1,400. Back with solar mentions that you can get a small solar system for a small cabin or an RV for between $1,200 and $4,800. 
and um, we generate uh, 942 watts a day, which when we were just living simple and had lights, particularly with the advent of the of LED lighting, which is the greatest technology, in my opinion, that's come along <laughs> in a long time. Um, you know, we were fine. But when we got Viasat satellite modems so that I could do these YouTube things and get online and be kind of entertained with, with watching videos and YouTube and all that other stuff, that's not enough. Or even just running my, my small MacBook uh, Air laptop, which is only 20, 28 watts. Um, I had a gaming computer um, that I thought I'd use for, you know, to see what the quality was like. And it was about 58, 60 watts an hour. And I wound up, uh, we wound up giving it to our son, uh, you know, who lives in civilization. It was just too much. So we run a generator. Now we're running a generator right now because it's been cloudy all day and rainy. And, and I wanted to see if the, if the internet modem would come on and um, possibly, you know, post a few videos. But uh, just bear in mind that when people say, oh, solar is great, <laughs> so when I'm free, you know, this kind of thing. Not necessarily. <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye-bye.